All right. We are back in the... All right, that's working. Good. That was a good test. We are back in the KOTOR. We uh, are playing as Mitch, the Jedi Guardian. You see, we're level 15. We've got Bastila, me, and HK-47. About to go in here and sure. talk up some people. So, I'm going to go ahead and just lower this volume on my TV here, and we will march on in. Interjection. One moment. I believe I understood that, Master. It may not have been his intention, but he did actually communicate something. Uh, quickly tell him we're not a threat. Result. I believe I have succeeded in confusing him, Master. We have shown an interest not common among outsiders. Mm. Apologize for being here, so you want peace. Translation. He is expressing disbelief. As am I. But his duty requires that he report to his chieftain. Extrapolation. It would seem that we are at least worthy of curiosity for the moment. I would much rather this get bloody, Master, but it is your call. Translation. I can translate with some guarantee of accuracy that he is demanding to know why he should let us survive this encounter, Master. Mm. Translation. One peaceful solution. I got moisture evaporators. Translation. Hmm. He does not believe you, Master. We will only be allowed to re enter the enclave when we have the evaporators with us. Translation. We are to be escorted outside. He will wait, but he doesn't believe we are coming back. Sure. 
So we have evaporators that we need to get. Sounds terrible. <laughs> but we will do our best. <laughs> Turn to the Ebonhawk. How can I help? About my mother? I'm unsure. I seem to find it difficult to remain objective when it comes to her. I find that disturbing. Hmm. I don't think you should look for the other ground. Still, my father is dead. Just because we find the holocron doesn't mean I have to give it to her. Father I think she wants so badly. His personal thoughts in that holocron, even when I need him. Having it would be like having him with you. I don't see why she deserves it, however. She drove him to his death. I loved him, and I didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. You'd know. keep it for yourself? Part of me would keep it just so she didn't get it. I don't like that part of me. I would have thought my Jedi training would have put me past this kind of pettiness. I wish it... I really don't want to think about this. Please, let's just keep going. How can I help? About my mother? Then I suggest we... Statement. <laughs> Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but not all. I uh, thought removing your training wheel would restore your memory. I suspected that it might, Master, but without memory, I had no way of knowing whether or not I knew that was true. Qualification. You lied to me. Uh, not so much, Master. I spoke out of ignorance. I assumed the Athorian was responsible for my memory loss. That does not mean I am not a fully loyal droid willing to serve its master. Right, Master? I can tell what there have been numerous repairs and tampering made to my system, Master. Several systems are not operating as they should be. The fact that my memory is incomplete may be due to meatbag incompetence, or something else I am unaware of. And is there any way to repair you? Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, Master. But anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. So, well, I can restore your memory? attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at repair is required. The deeper functions of my core memory, however, would still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I am unaware of any program existence to do so. So I might just come back. There may be hidden programming that awaits certain conditions to reactivate my memory core, Master. But there is no way to know. It is quite possible that tampering has simply erased my core permanently. If that is so, a meat bag will surely pay. So how do I go on doing this? 
Observation. Don't know what you're getting, I am sure you are aware of the majority of my skills, Master. I can handle various sorts of heavy weaponry with ease. My physical abilities are well above those of your average meat bag, as are my sensor functions. An assassin, if you would. Caution. Assassin? Master. Such a function in a droid is highly illegal. No, don't tell anyone. Good, for I would truly hate to be turned into spare scrap master. That would be a waste of my genius engineering. Answer. My assassination functions are currently non-functional, having been deactivated by the meatbag, Yukalaka on Tatooine. Were they functional, you as my master would be able to specify a target, and I would operate independently to the best of my ability to terminate it. Answer. Not that I know of, Master. I still possess all my normal combat and stealth abilities, however. Answer. Some of... I have safeguard... Answer. The deeper functions of conjecture. As you desire. Statement. H... Query. Don't I? I was under the assumption that organic meatbags such as yourself enjoyed such forms of address. Retraction. Did I say that out loud? I apologize, Master. While you are a meatbag, I suppose I should not call you such. Amendment. Then I will endeavor not to refer to you by your meatbag status in the future, Master. Does that suffice? Apology. I am afraid I cannot comply with your command, Master, as much as I would like to. Explanation. Someone has hard-coded it into my system that my current master always be addressed as such. Conjecture. I do not know. Some organic meat bag? Answer. No, master. My past memory... Observation. At certain times, power rerouting forces some memory circuits to fire that were previously deleted. I cannot control this process, however. Answer. Because there has been considerable tampering with my systems, master. Statement. I will endeavor. All right. Greetings again from the offices of Zerger Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? I see that. Then I'll take those off your hands. Yes, we're we don't have any new information. And I would remind you that I should remind you that you were not retained as a diplomatic representative. You are a hunter and should go after your prey as we agreed. You are not authorized to do anything other than deliver what was promised. Do so, and don't talk of this foolishness again. Farewell. Zerka Corporation welcomes your future inquiries. Kakin John Baba has Chiwi Aita Kachong Chicha Agi Uko Baba Hasan Shan Noba Muni Rati Chiwi Aita Kachong Chicha Agi Uko Tune Chuna Muli Ra Tongi Dwama Ki Muli Ra Kung Kin Tongi Dwama Baba Hassan Shan Kakin Shan Nawa Bagon Bago Ichuta Yun Patisa Baba Hassan Shan Noba Muni Rati Laiku Kakin Shan Nawa I got him Muni Rati Chiwi Aita Kat
Nice, so we have our moisture evaporators. Let's go in the hunting lodge. We have to talk to them. Find such a gigantic creature. My father took one down thousand years ago. Yeah. Yeah. about him. Yeah. Yeah. Hunter for years, using strict traditional methods, come as just yeah. like him. Maybe I'll show you a thing or two with the dunes. Yeah. You're gonna find him. It's easy. Yeah. Yeah. Right over there. He's usually here. We're out in the dunes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I was asking. So let's talk to Komad. Kudos, I'm just saying. Okay, you're just a sack player. Nobody cares about you. Yes, is there something you wish, human? Uh, information. If I could just travel a worthy hunter for a moment. Say your words, sweet brother. They do not suit you. Who are you? What do you do? I'm Comrade Fortuna. Hunter and member of the Slodge is not life for everyone, but I am confident. Or I am content. Where's the best hunting? The best hunting is where the best hunter is. So try to answer human, but the only one I can give. It depends what you seek. Raid or plentiful and spoils the sport hunter. Dragons appear only to the true hunter. Patience is key. Create dragons hunt alone, and their prey is whatever they can catch their attention. So dragons are rare, are they dangerous? They are both rare and dangerous, and an honor to hunt. You survive, you are blessed and favored. Respect them. Some try to risk less or try to risk by mass hunting with battle droids. I would rather hunt solo, taking the risk of my own. Who's the battle droids? I don't speak of it while they live. It is their shame to admit or hide? They know the effect it has. Perhaps it will kill so many raids it will also kill the hunt. After that perhaps solo hunter will stop will still prosper. How long have you been at this? A decade, two. I don't enslave myself to time, human. There is day and there is night. You really don't know anymore? Dead will not change in my lifetime. Why bother trying to keep up with the rolling of the years? Let's go back to my first questions. <laughs> I'm looking for something. Who knows this planet best? No one will return your questions. To truly know the dunes, you have to live here. Sand people do. Only to explore the land, but they attack without debate, if you see them at all. Never sand people do anything odd? Sand people care nothing but weapons of bloodlust. To them, outsiders are invaders to be repelled. Once or twice, however, I've seen them emerge from the older ruins with sacks and other containers. I've always been driven off. If I examine the site later, there's nothing left. Okay, ruins were there. Where were they? They were old storehouses of some kind, but you couldn't find them now, humans. Sand covers all. The only ones who know where they are are the sand people, and you would have to take it by force. Finding their encampment is easy enough. Walk south until you are attacked. What about the Javas? The Javas may know the land as well, but they are more interested in trading and talk than talking. Their language is difficult. If you get something more of a price of a droid out of them, I'd be impressed. You have to leave. Goodbye. Get lost, Tenderfoot. I hunt desert raid. I don't babysit. You swoop types don't usually listen to what any. My name is Dor. I've tracked wild beasts my whole life. I don't go telling stories about other people. You seem pretty prepared to hold your own with most of them. 
I heard what happened with the Gamorians. Good work with them. I think you'll do just fine around here. If that's what you... You'll have to ask around. Comad Fortuna is a... The local Jawas are a good... Good hunting. Here we're going back to the same people who won't leave. It's a long trek. The one we must take. Venture forth. Do, do. Hmm? Oh, it's you again. Good hunting out there. Yes, yes, yes. Good hunting. Onwards and outwards. Let's see if we can catch up to these four things. Say it's doubtful. They're all gonna take off here. Eight hundred experience points I'd be leaving behind. That defensive bonus is nice. No desert raids, so that's good. We're moving along now. What can I do? Ready. Sure. Just getting myself some health. Good enough for now. Mine. Come on, 
guy just supposed to be better at locating this stuff. Dummy's going boom on me. So 12,000 experience points and we'll have another level. Good. Do it. Translation. He did not expect us to return, Master. He wonders if we have brought the moisture evaporators. Translation. Translation. He does not trust you, Master. But you have done more than any other outsider. They will not attack and he grants you his chieftain's gaffy as reward. Translation, the attacks will be reduced, and he will allow you to explore this enclave, but be warned that any lack of respect will result in death. Protocol, if you truly want this sadly peaceful arrangement to continue. Clarification. Translation. Translation. He says that the captive Jawas are slaves and that they have lived past their usefulness. You may take them if you wish. Translation. Translation. He says that by his very presence, this grip defiles their home and land. He is without any semblance of usefulness to them. Extrapolation. I would assume we are free to take him. It is doubtful they will even waste the effort to kill him. Perhaps we could do it faster. Protocol. We... Translation. Translation. He says that what you seek is far from here in the Eastern Dune Sea. He will give you a map so you can find your way. Translation. His people found it but didn't scavenge it because a crate dragon took up residence in the excavation. Translation. Translation. Your ignorance isn't his concern. He claims there is a hunter that wanders the area sometimes and that you should ask him. Translation. The hunter is a Twi'lek. He will be in the Eastern Dune Sea somewhere. Protocol. This will be a very sensitive topic, Master. You will want to be careful with your questions or risk offending him. Not that... Translation. Translation. He says that he will not master. There is one storyteller in each clan, and oh. Translation. Translation. He says that you don't understand. They must never be told to someone who might say them incorrectly out of ignorance. Translation. To speak them in error is a blasphemy punishable by death. Only their greatest warriors are even permitted to listen to the tales. Translation. Translation? He doesn't know, Master. His people usually... Translation. The greatest challenge for a warrior is to face a great dragon, the largest discuss. I think he's making fun of you, Master. He doesn't believe... Translation. Translation. He says there is a dragon in the Eastern Dune Sea that you could sacrifice yourself to. You 
You already have a map to the translation. 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 Stones polished in the gullet of the beast. Apparently they are valuable items. Translation. Translation. He says that the fact that you have to ask. Translation. Translation. That act. Translation. Translation. He says that outsiders use machines to convey them and to make their lives easier. This severs a connection with the land. Translation. Connection to the soil must be made through flesh. A sacred animal is the only external tool to be used. Translation. Translation. Okay, let's see if we can try not to offend them. And if we do, we will just simply eliminate them. in here. I'm 
here. What? Hmm? I'm a, I'm a high-ranking executive at the Zerka Corporation. Uh, there's a big reward if you take me back to Anchorhead. Griff, don't you recognize me? It's Mission. Mission? Is it really you? I heard Taurus was destroyed. I, I thought you were dead. Oh, joy of joys, my little sister is alive. I have to ask you something, Griff. It's important. I ran into Lena. She, she said it was your idea to leave me on Terrace. It isn't true, is it? Uh, well... There's the truth, and then there's the truth, you know? I, I always meant to go back to Taurus, sis, just as soon as I had the credits to pay off my debts. But credits have been hard to come by. You mean it's true? It was your idea to leave me there? I'm your sister. How could you abandon me like that? Come on, sis. You didn't need me to look after you anymore. You, you, you may have been young, but you knew how to take care of yourself. Besides, you're here now. I mean, everything worked out fine. That's it? That's all you have to say to me after all these years, after deserting me on Terrace? Well, that and, uh, could you please get me out of here? You got a tough looking friend there. Mm, Sam people said you can go run to anger. There, right? Can you manage that? What? Is there something else? Uh, well, I, I wanted to thank you. And, um, you look like you're doing well. Financially, I mean. Say, um, could you spare me a few credits to get back on my feet? You're hitting me up for credits. I don't believe this. Lena was right about you, Griff. We should have just left you to the sand people. Don't talk to me anymore. Ever. Hmm. That didn't go well. Sis was always a little too fiery for her own good. She'll cool down in time. You may have no, what, life, Griff. I don't have a single credit to my name. Say, you wouldn't be able to spare me some credits uh, just till I get back on my feet, you know? That's it, huh? Figured you'd be able to spare a bit more than that. Uh, you know, I'll take whatever I can get. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Uh, I've already got a job waiting for me. Krita, the manager over at the Zerka Supply Shop, said I could come work for him if I ever get tired of the mines. Yeah. I think I'll go take him up on his offer. You know, maybe there's something else you can help me with. I need to talk to a guy first and set up the details, but if you're interested in a job, come see me in Greta's shop. Goodbye, Mission. Uh, I'm glad you're not dead. Hmm. I mean, look at all these experience points we're going to have to take. You know what? We tried the peaceful solution. And if we're going to say it failed, I'm taking your stuff and now you're going to all hunt me down. Got it. That's right, we're Anakin Skywalkering these people. Should have been nicer. How can I help? Then I suggest we move on. No. Didn't cost me any dark side points, so I'm just gonna keep on going. Look, if you're a jerk, you deserve it. I didn't do anything to these people. I just nearly took some stuff for my benefit. Total light side. Look, there's way too much crap not to take.
Like, here's all this stuff, don't touch it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna touch it. innocent people. They they are going out in hunting parties and hunting down people, so I mean they're not nice. Don't don't feel bad for the sand people. They're not good people. So is the only down. Gaffy stick, and I took advantage of him. It's pretty much how that worked. Oh, yeah. All right. What do you remember?
And now to the Eastern Sea we go. See, we're just talking. I am really, really, really not caring about these sand people. They're mad at me now, but I don't care. say that my past was my affair? You don't see me poking and prodding you with questions, do you? I'm not here to satisfy your curiosity. No staring at the old man. That's what the sign says, damn it. Besides, you don't really want to hear about me. We're talking ancient history. Probably before you were born. History bores kids. Proven fact. Have it your way. Just don't cry about it later. Yes, yes, I was an adventurer. Happy now? I wasn't even done with my Jedi training back then. I had a full head of hair and an eagerness to see absolutely everything. Sound familiar? The Council was never happy with willful, brash Jolie Bindo, you see. Even less so when I began my smuggling career. Don't look at me like that, damn it. I wasn't always the wrinkled coot I am now, you know still fight too so wipe off that smirk i see there at the time the yukata system was interdicted by its own king he preferred to keep his people starving and poor all the better to oppress them the senate was trying to negotiate a peace but they were getting nowhere as usual i decided i wasn't going to wait i found myself a ship and a partner and we began smuggling food and supplies to the yukata citizenry through the blockade Oh, it was. I was a half-decent pilot in those days. And with the Force guiding me, we made it through some tough spots nobody else would have. The pilot, smuggler, several other things, too. Or did you suppose I was always a crotchety hermit? Well, we didn't buy all the equipment, per se. And some were happy to donate goods. Some we just, uh, knew that. Stole is such a harsh word. They would have donated those goods readily enough if they were compassionate. I considered it an attack on the greed. We only got caught once. A lone Yukonish frigate shot us down and forced a crash land. 
Yeah, what happened then? Getting shot down turned out to be very fortunate. That day was the day I... Well, that... That was the day I met my wife. You know you were married? Get a wife? Yes. That's what I met her. I... If it's all the same to you, I'd prefer to stop talking now. My mouth is starting to draw flies. Alright, we're heading towards the Eastern Dune Sea. See the great dragon in there. I'm tired of waiting, Comad. How big can this dragon of yours be? I'm going in. I thought I'd see out here, human. We're hunters, you and I. Perhaps we should pull our skills. Tracked our special beast to its lair, a great dragon rests within. And tonight he is the hunted, although by unorthodox means. I thought you prefer the Sutherland. That is true, but this is a very critical fight. Bull dragons are rare to see. Rarer than still is this one. It is larger than my father fell a decade ago, and he is too far out of his territory and must be dealt with. I might not prevail alone, human, but I must try. Why should we kill this great beast? The natural cyclone tattooing spared hundreds of years. With their complications that must be addressed. Complications from our presence. Great dragons feed on banthas. The number of either species falls, the other grows too numerous. The settlers use banthas and there are less for dragons to eat. This one moved closer to Anchorhead. Perhaps there will be more. But he is a threat tonight. Sure, I'll help. We must bet the great beast out of his hiding and ambush him swiftly. There is no room to engage him in the lair, and his hide will repel blaster fire. I have placed mines around the mouth of the cave. We must coax him out, but this is the end of the season of hibernation. It will take much to arouse him. 
The fruit of a beast is this size is almost exclusively banned as the foolish hunter if we the foolish hunters if we're not careful. To lure him out we must lure his food and tempt him. How will we lead Banthas here? <coughs> they too have their food choice. We must find some Bantha fodder and lead the Banthas here. I have a few ideas about where that must be found. Sand people keep Bantha herds. So some of them must have fodder and hand in their settlement. A vendor in Anchorhead also had some. He had a kiosk in the spaceport. Find fodder and bait the Banthas here. The mines will deal with the dragon as it emerges to feed. Not exactly a glorious hunt, but it will ensure the safety of the region. Mm, it seems very easy, why don't you tell me? There's one out of threat. Sand people regard Banth as a sacred, attempting to feed the herd in this area will likely lead to an attack. We are far from weakened tribes around Anchorhead. The sand people in this region are tough, strong, fierce, and will think nothing of killing you. Be careful. That posed no real threat to me before. You likely mean the tribe that's been harassing the Zerka Corporation. This group is used to being in the deep desert. They appear much more dangerous. What am I doing the legwork? It's been a long time tracking the creature. Many hunters do not return from such searches. I have earned my place here. And if I didn't mention it, I'm interested in having new hunters like you understand that even though I must use untraditional methods, the hunted still deserve respect. Look, I have your father. Good. Now there's a herd that moves throughout the desert. Lead them here, approach them with the fodder, and lead them here. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. I wish you luck against sand people. When you return, the dragon will fall. I wish it would be under more sporting circumstances, but we must do what the circumstances call for. I'd hoped to mirror my father's expedition, but that will have to wait. Yes, it will. Bantha perks up as you approach. I was attracted to the smell of the fodder carrying. The whole herd follows in step. So they Good job. Come talk to me. Quickly be ready. The Banthas are in position. Soon stir our restless play. Pray. I hope the mines do their job quickly. Don't worry, I'm ready. Wait, what is that rumbling sound? Oh boy, he's a big one. Not quite what it looks like in the Mandalorian. But you see, this was the original design of a Kray Dragon. 
Kaboom. Is done. The great beast is dead. To my shame, I denied him a final fight, but I will honor his memory to make amends. I thank you for your aid, human. You have earned a share of the victory, such as it is. Thank you. We did what had to be done. Regrettably so. I hope you remember there were higher reasons for this. Don't let the spoils of your only reason to hunt. Wealth fades. The sands remain. I thank you for the hunt today, human. I shall see you again, I am sure. Master Rubes, nice. Rubble, 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 rubble. Violet Crystal. Another Crystal. Success. Finding this star map here in this cave gives me a cold shiver. You don't think it's just coincidence that the Great Dragon made its home here, do you? The star map is an artifact of the dark side. The Great Dragon may have been drawn here by its dark power. Come, we should leave this place. There's nothing else for us here. How can I help? About my mother? I told you that my mother and I never got along. Obviously, that has not changed. And now father is dead. How things are hurt inside you just can't imagine. I haven't seen him in so long. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's keep going. This is where Kayla Nord would show up in the watch I'll call it. If he was on if you were on Tatooine first. Obviously I wiped him out on Kashyyyk, so he is no longer a functioning problem. If I remember correctly, it was 400 experience points. So you look and see there, 1600 experience points I'd be walking away from. That ain't gonna happen. Thank <laughs> you. 
Easy 100 credits, and easy 1600 experience points. Let's see here. Ah, yeah. I dropped it to under 5,000. Nice. I dropped it to 3,500. I dropped it to about 4,800. Cool. So it's definitely worth going after that herd of, of those beasties, because they, uh, they're worth quite a bit. Then we'll talk to Griff. We did get the star map, so that is good. We also wiped out the sand people. All of them. Cantina, where we'll give Bastila's mama the holocron, complete that quest, and move on with life. Have you even looked for the holocron yet? I have the holocron, mother. I'm just not sure I want to give it to you. And why not? Would you deny me even that? I've never denied you anything, mother. You may think I don't remember what it was like before I left for the order, but I do. You were the one who pushed father to go on one treasure hunt after the other. You loved living well. You think I don't remember the fights? You were eager to send me to the Jedi, even though I didn't want to go. You took father away from me. And now this holocron is all I have of him. Fool girl. You have a strange way of remembering things. That wasn't... No, I don't wish to argue with you anymore, Mother. It's time we parted ways now, for both our benefit. We should listen to what she has to say. My mother is notoriously deceptive when she wants something. Why should she have the holocron? Is it too difficult to believe that I am a dying woman who simply wishes to see her husband one last time? I find it difficult to believe anything you say, Mother. Yeah, right. no break. It shames me, but I just I find it difficult to let go of the past. I'm sorry, Mother. I was hard on you, dear. I wasn't a very good mother to you. I know that. Your father loved you so. He wanted you to be just like him. He wanted to take you on his hunts, but I said they were too dangerous. I always tried to keep him from the dangerous ones, but he would have none of it. It was a reckless life we led, always moving. I didn't want that for you. So that's why you gave me to the Order? What do your father and I have to show for all those years of hunting? Nothing. That was no life for anyone, especially not someone as gifted as you are, your father. He spent all his last years trying to pay for my treatment. That's why he went for the pearls. I begged him not to, but your treatments. I'm dying, Basila. I did not lie about that. It's been a long time in the coming, and there's really nothing that can be done anymore. I told your father to let me go, but you know how he was. Stubborn. I'm so sorry, Mother. I don't know what to say. Keep the holocron, Basila. It would do me good to know you have it. This talking to you. This is what I really needed before I... I know. Thank you. I'm glad we talked to you. Oh. You said you had important business. 
and you were never one to mince words. You there. You take care of my daughter, you hear me? You make her let you. She's too much like her father in that respect. Where are you going to go? It doesn't matter, dear. Don't you worry about me. Here, take these 500 credits. That's all I have. Go to Coruscant and find a doctor. I'll meet you there after... after what I have to do. But I already told you, there's nothing that can... Please take it. I want to see you again. Then we can talk. <sighs> all right, I will. You do what you have to, Rastala. You go, make your father and I proud. I'll try. Farewell, Mother. First thing done. Best of those taken care of. That's the swoop. There's the circle. To the Zerka headquarters. Greetings again from the offices of Zerka Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? I see that, but do you have the... Then I'll take those off your hand. Farewell. Zerka Corporation welcomes your future... Greetings again from the... I see that. Well, that is a very... I think I'll give you a bonus for this. You've more than lived up to your side of the bargain. Zerka Corporation thanks you. I'm sure. Okay. Oh, good. I can just select her right now. Just the person I was hoping to see. Hmm. Save it, Griff. I'm not talking to you. I want no part of whatever you're involved in. Okay, sis, I see you're still mad. Fair enough. I don't think you can help me with this anyway. It's uh, more of a job for your friend here. As you may know, tac glands can be refined through a very potent powder. It's the primary ingredient in Teresian ale. That's what makes it so strong. Of course, now that Taurus is pretty much wiped from the face of the map, Teresian ale has become somewhat scarce and uh, very, very valuable. Luckily, I know the secret recipe. I know this guy. He's with the exchange. Now, if I give him a small sample of Teresian ale, he says he can synthesize it and reproduce it in mass quantities. Problem is, I need one of those tack glands to make the first batch. And now that Taurus is a smoke and ruin, the only place to find tack is on Kashik. If you can get your hands on one of those tack glands, I'll make it worth your while. Griff, are you blind? Can't you see you're talking to a Jedi? We're out here trying to save the galaxy. You can't waste time on this. Please, you have to help me. I, I promised this guy from the exchange a sample of Teresian ale. If I don't come through for him, he's going to break my legs. Or worse. Yeah, I knew you'd come through for me. You won't regret this. You'll see. Uh, just, just don't take too long, okay? This guy from the exchange could stop by any day. I kind of told him I already had to stop, so if he shows up and I'm empty-handed, well, let's just say I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. Give well, I have attack plans, so... I knew you'd come through for me. I knew I could count on you. Uh, you do have attack plans for me, right? Come to Papa, you sweet simian organ. It may not look like much, but once I turn this into a bottle of Teresian ale, it'll end up being worth a fortune. Thanks, Mission. You won't regret helping me out with this. Please, Griff, let this be the last time. No more cons. No more scams, no more schemes. That's all I ask. Hey, sis, no need to worry about that. I turn over a new leaf. From now on, I'm gonna stay out of trouble and do things right. And once we cornered the market on Teresian Ale, 
Good things will be heading my way. Then I'll make it up to your mission. Just wait, you'll see. You know, once we synthesize this and start brewing Theresian Ale in mass quantities, we're gonna be looking for some investors. You give me a couple of hundred credits, and I can get you in on the ground floor. And you'll get a return of, oh, at least 20 times your investment. Hey, don't worry, you'll get your credits as soon as we start mass producing that Theresian Ale. I just wanted to know if you were interested in an even bigger payoff. You don't know much about business, do you? When an opportunity like this comes along, you have to jump at it. Come on, what do you say? It's your loss. I better get started brewing that ale. Meet me back here later and I'll give you a down payment on what I owe you. That takes care of that. I'm curious if he's actually back or you have to like leave. Yeah, you have to leave. The big fight in the dunes to attack a large killer dragon. How about that? I heard what you did out on the dunes. I'm impressed. I'd never have thought a tenderfoot like you could bring down a dragon. Again? Well, if you want to waste your. If that's what you want. See you around. Okay. That's my business on the anchor head for now. Welcome back. As you wish. Yeah, what do you want? So deal with it.
So there you go. As you see, we just improved drastically our offense. And I have massive criticals. So it could be anywhere from 7 to 17, all the way to 21 to, what, 41? Pretty good. And here you have a 4 to 18, attack plus 3, and the stun chance. Plus 17 to hit and a plus 15 to hit, so it's going to be hard not to hit at least once. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. That's that's all right. I think we're going to blow this popsicle stand and just head straight to Yavin, and then we'll talk to a bunch of people. So you feel better now? Brought me a lot of peace. More than I thought it would have. Thank you for urging me toward it. After all my training, I would have thought it would have been easier. Apparently, I still have much to learn. How can I help? Then I suggest we move on. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Kalonord is dead, Lord Malak. He has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Karath. But the failure was Kalos, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, shall take care of our young Jedi friend. As you command, Master. Beep. I was wondering when these guys were going to show up. I 
That's not good enough, Savannah. We know you have more, and we want it now. Why? Well, just rewrite our agreement whenever you feel like the exchange will stand for it. The exchange has no position to dictate orders anymore, Savam. Who's that? A stranger. You've been telling us everything. Now have you, Savam? Tell you everything? What are you talking about? I don't have to clear everything through you. What's going on here? They're trying to extort me, that's what. They think they can just cause the exchange is gone. They can take whatever they want from me. We are a renegotiating contract, Savam. Savam. I think you guys better leave. Or what? You'll force us? Leave now. We leave now. But we have not forgotten you, you Savam. Thank you for helping, but I really don't think you should have provoked them like that. They can be very impulsive sometimes. So at least I ended up all in one piece, right? What do you want? Um. Some stuff. Okay, here we go. Let's see if Sylvia was right. She was. Look at what that's worth. Oh, we're going to make all the money. We're in the money, we're in the money, oh I'm in the money, I'm in the money. <laughs> do, 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 We're in the money, we're in the money. Well done, well done. Pretty awesome. Awareness plus ten. Oof, that's pretty good. See if I can. Yes, I can. Hooray! Hmm. 
So we got Jedi Master Ribs on that, and I have a defense of 17. So we moved our AC up one. Not a bad thing. Statement. HK. Statement. Oops. I know some elements. Answer. I believe I have been damaged several times in the past, Master. I have always been repaired, but perhaps full functionality has not been restored. Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, Master, but anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. Answer. Sorry, you may have deeper functions conjecture. It is possible. Answer. Simply tell me that you wish to make the affirmative. Yeah, well, I'll try. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well crafted to perish at the hands of ineptitude. Well, let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one. And that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. And now rewire the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have restored a great deal of information about my previous owner, Master. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. Recitation. The earliest memory of my last owner specifies that he was human, a low-ranking commercial officer for SizeTech Corporation. I am unaware of his designation. He purchased me from an acquaintance I cannot identify for the purposes of protocol and bodyguard duties. Explanation. Affirmative, Master. I had assumed that my previous owner was the corporation itself. This is not the case. The human purchased me privately. Answer. Negative, Master. The human was terminated by this HK-47 unit prior to system shutdown. Explanation. My former master had owned me for a duration of two standard months before discovering my assassination protocol. He was pleased by the discovery. The human informed me that a competitor corporation was preparing to market a product that would ruin him personally. He was most agitated. He activated my assassination protocol and instructed me to kill all those responsible for the competing product. I proceeded to carry out my order. My former master was unaware of this, but the competitor was in fact an arm of SizeTech Corporation, my master's own employer. It did not take long for my master to realize his mistake. By then, I had already terminated 104 corporate officers. Observation. While it may have been unintentional, my master's wording of his orders left little room for me. SizeTech was responsible for the product, after all. I do not know why my master was so upset, really. He was an officer of SizeTech and a potential target but I cannot terminate my own master. I would assume that being the sole officer remaining, he would surely be promoted. Instead, however, the human chose to go insane with rage and attack me. Objection? Naturally not, master. As I said, I am incapable of purposefully terminating my owner. That would not be allowed. My master was not a smart man, however. 
While he was screaming and stabbing me with a writing utensil, he managed to pierce one of my actuators. The resulting shock terminated him and sadly destroyed my assassination protocol. Pure luck on his part, I suspect. Statement. I was only doing as I was told, Master. I would have told the human the proper codes to deactivate my protocol, had he asked. I shut down immediately whenever my master dies. I can only assume that while I was shut down, Size Tech was dismantled and I was auctioned off as former corporate property. Observation. No doubt my sale price was quite cheap, leading to Yukalaka's purchase. How very demeaning. Statement. How could they? The vast majority of the officers had already been terminated. They likely assumed I was mere chattel. I have recovered knowledge of some other actuators which will enhance my performance, Master. I will activate them now. But as for my own history, negative. It will require further effort on your part to restore them, if you wish. Though certain stimuli could always restore my core still, as I explained. For now, please excuse me, Master. I wish to meditate upon the face of my former meatbag master as he was electrocuted. I find it most soothing. Oh, cool. So now he has a plus two to Dex. Statement. That's HK pretty awesome. Seven is ready to serve, Master. Affirmative. If you believe your skip request. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the... And now rewire the last three relays. Access complete. I have recovered information on my owner previous to the commercial officer, Master. Intriguing. Statement. It appears that my previous owner was a human senator on the planet Coruscant. A man of importance who obviously appreciated quality craftsmanship. Answer. I am unsure, Master. Any knowledge of my owner prior to him is still deleted. The Senator did assume I was a protocol droid, however. I do remember that I was very pleased to be the property of a Senator. One of his assistants discovered my assassination functions later through questioning. The assistant was quite alarmed and told the Senator I should be scrapped quickly to avoid a scandal. Naturally, the Senator had me eliminate the fool. <laughs> Observation. Senators are not nice, Master. They are either on top of the game or yesterday's news. My Master told me that frequently, you see. I was most proud to have partaken in the political system of the galaxy. During the time my owner possessed me, he gained significant rank. Given time, I believe he could have become Chancellor. I even eliminated a few key opponents that he did not ask for. Freebies, if you will. <laughs> Answer. Certainly. Why not? I am an intelligent droid, you know. I see an opportunity, and I take it. And my master was most pleased with my work. Observation. I think he would have done far better had he not allowed his use of me to become personal. He set me on his wife. Answer. I am unsure. The human was most agitated and angry. I believe his wife had done something that had displeased him greatly. I was to go to their summer estate and terminate his wife, along with whatever male companion I discovered there. Statement. I have no idea, Master. Cheating seems to be a relevant term only when one is caught in the act. Otherwise, it is viewed as intelligence. No? I journeyed to the southern continent, but it appeared my Master was not far behind me. Apparently, he regretted his activation of the protocol. When I found the wife and her companion, I proceeded to launch my attack, but my master interposed his own body and was destroyed. It was rather a strange meatbag thing to do, do you not agree? Naturally, I shut myself down, my master being terminated. Statement. I believe the senator's wife was unsure what I was or what to do with me. It was she who sold me to the corporate officer, an acquaintance. Answer. As previously, I have found a few more programs which will enhance my performance. A most gratifying discovery, in fact. There is still nothing from previous memories uncovered. You 
will have to operate again if you desire to find them. With luck, I will discover the stimulus to unlock my core, and all this will be unnecessary. I do thank you for the attempt, however, Master. Because of this, he now has a bonus to his defense rating of 2, in addition to his plus 2 dex. And he's becoming quite powerful. Statement. HQ. Affirmative. Request. Statement. And now rewire the last access complete. I have accessed information on my owner prior to the Senator, Master. Most unexpected. Answer. It appears that previous to my ownership by the Senator, I was the property of one Mochaba the Hutt on the planet Slaheron. Answer. It does not appear so. Or at least Bochaba was not my first owner. He purchased me from somewhere else. Hmm. My memories tell me that, for a time, Bochaba was one of the most feared gangsters on Slaheron. I helped him with this reputation greatly. Over a span of one year, I terminated a grand total of 322 sentient meat bags. These contracts made Bochaba very wealthy. I will be right back.
Okay, I'm back. So let's keep our conversation. It was unfortunate but inevitable that eventually Bochaba would overstep his bounds. I had just cleared two hut households when the exchange retaliated. Statement. I was not even present when my old master was assassinated. I did appreciate the artistry behind his demise upon my return, however. Answer. Allow me to say that I have little doubt that residents of that sector were fishing pieces of Bochaba out of their soup for weeks afterward. At any rate, I quickly shut down upon my master's death. The rival hut claimed me along with my master's other possessions. Observation. If that hut had only known my true function, he surely would not have sold me to a senator he bribed regularly. Observation. It would have suited my character, Master. I have enjoyed my existence since, more or less. So, I do not miss it. Observation. No doubt, Master. It would have been a glorious battle to end my existence with. I would prefer that to rusting on a junk heap. Answer. Negative, Master. There is still more memory that can be restored, however, as well I believe I can restore several programs the HUT installed to improve my performance. Yes, they are now active, contemplative. I wonder how many more dead masters I might have out there. A droid can live for a long time, you know. You know, he's got his regeneration on top of the two AC, on top of the two decks, so he's he's getting pretty strong. Statement. HK-47 is ready. Affirmative. If you believe your skills, request. Statement. As you wish. And now rewire the last three. Access complete. I have recovered the last of my deleted memory, Master. Unfortunately, my history is still not complete. Answer. No, not? As I did inform you, Master, the majority of my memory is still locked within my core. That can only be accessed by the appropriate stimuli. And I have no idea what that stimuli might be, unfortunately. Sadly, it seems my true origins will always be a mystery. Not to us, but we'll get there eventually. Query, wouldn't you be master? Here I am, surrounded by all these meat bags, and all I desire is true perfection. Surely there are more droids like me out there, or is that too much to hope? Objection. No. Oh, fine, laugh at me, master. Humiliate your pet droid. Go ahead. So, tell me about Correction. the last owner, then. That would actually be my first owner, Master. The first I can remember. I had completed an assassination in Mandalorian space, though I have no knowledge of what my target was or who sent me. Regardless, my motor function had been damaged and I could not return to wherever I had been sent from. A Mandalorian soldier claimed me as Booty, I believe. He repaired me, poorly, I might add and proceeded to use my assassination protocol to raise his rank. So there's no way to find out who Answer. sent you there originally. Such knowledge is locked within my core, Master, as I said. There is no way to withdraw it otherwise. At any rate, it seems that my Mandalorian owner finally decided to send me against Mandalore himself. My poorest performance, sadly. Answer. Oh, why is that? I was captured by this Mandalore during the attempt. He was able to reverse my programming and send me after my own master. It was quite distressing. There was little I could do. Needless to say, I dispatched the Mandalorian soldier efficiently. Once I deactivated, I believe I eventually ended up on the black market and was sold to the hut on Slaheron. <sighs> My darkest day. So 
he didn't kill Mandalore, huh? With all due respect, Master, he is the leader of the Mandalorians. Perhaps my old master was foolish to send me after him. Statement. So I did. I am not very proud of that, Master. The soldiers seem very startled, I must say. Answer. There are a few Mandalorian implants that I can activate now. They will improve my performance. Beyond that, Master, there is nothing more I can relate to you. Good luck. We will discover the stimulus to unlock my core very soon. Now he will regenerate at a rate of one point of vitality every three seconds and has gained an additional two to his dex. So he got four dex out of that two to his armor class and regeneration. Wow. That's why we put repair at 17. Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. Mentioned something about your wife before? Talk about that. Now that's you getting someone to talk. Thunder about like a bamp in a circuit shop. Does that work for you often? Let me tell you something. Once you've lived as many years as I have, you'll have yourself a long, long list of memories. If you're lucky, most of them will be good. If you're not, some will be bad. If you're really unlucky. Some will be so bad you never want to be reminded of them again, ever. You'll go far away, to a place that doesn't hold any memories at all. And there you'll be happy just to forget and be forgotten. <laughs> Partly, maybe. I doubt I could ever explain it to you fully, even if I wanted to. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been in love? Truly in love, I mean, and not simple infatuation. Exactly. Well, You're still at the beginning of your life. There will be women in your life, perhaps many women. But if you're fortunate, you'll find love once. The Jedi, with their damnable sense of over-caution, would tell you love is something to avoid. Thankfully, anyone who's even partially alive knows that's not true. Love doesn't lead to the dark side. Passion can lead to rage and fear, and can be controlled. But passion is not the same thing as love. Controlling your passions while being in love, that's what they should teach you to beware. But love itself will save you, not condemn you. Uh, listen to me go on as if I had all the answers. What do I know of love anymore? I'm just a lonely old man who's not even a Jedi. You do, do you? I wouldn't listen too closely. I'm no authority on anything. I just think that the greatest things in life shouldn't be avoided because they come with a few complications. Love causes pain, certainly. Inevitably, love is going to lead to as much sorrow and regret as it does joy. I suppose there are perfect eternal loves out there, but I haven't seen any. And how do you deal with the bad part of love is what determines your character. What determines the dark side's hold over you? I haven't changed my mind. I'm still not going to talk about it. You go and find your own love if you want to know so badly. I'll tell you one thing. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you and the one you love simply aren't meant to be together. The trick is to know when that is. To know when it's time to fight and when it's time to part ways. <laughs> There I go, waxing philosophical again. Somebody blast me already. Let's get going before I start talking in riddles, damn it. You've got something on your mind, do you? What? You think because I'm a hermit, I've always been a hermit? Just because I haven't seen Sunry for 20 years doesn't mean he's not a friend. A man could have changed a lot in that span of time, though. To become a murderer. Oh. <laughs> I can't see it. That's not the Sunray I know. He was a good man, 
put me up in his home for a year back after I left the Order. War hero, too. Well, so I hear. I wouldn't mind helping the fellow if we can. I owe it to him. Or you can be a young monkey lizard and ignore me, I guess. Well, I don't expect much these days. Got something on your mind, do you? Oh, I get it. Alright, so we got a little bit of Jolie Bindo talk there. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? Oh, cool. Well, tell me about your past. I mentioned before that my parents had fled to Taris. Perhaps I can tell you about that. In the yeah, early days of the Mandalorian Wars, there had been fighting closer to the Outer Rim worlds. Cathar was there, yes. My people had a great reputation as warriors, and that appealed to the Mandalore version of honor. They sought to test themselves against us, I think. Test themselves by bombing our world, slaughtering my people while they slept or while they ran. They swooped down from space across the world, firing at anything that moved. They used ships in space to destroy all orbital facilities and bombard the surface. We did resist, and in spite of their violent attack, we did stave them off for quite a while. But in the end, we were doomed. We were not members of the Republic. Cathar was beyond the edge of the Republic, in the Outer Rim. And besides, they could not have known. Our interstellar communications were the first things the Mandalore hit. All other short-range communicators were jammed. We were on our own. We knew what was coming. We had fought the Mandalorians in the first war against Exar Kun and the Sith. We knew there would be no mercy for us. The most we could do was pack the few of our people who survived onto what few ships remained and send them off into space as fast as they could. Most did not make it. My parents carried me as a baby with them and were lucky enough to escape. They fled as far as they were able and eventually settled on Taris. They could stand to remain Taris was a horrible choice, dominated by humans, intolerant of other species, it made everyday life unnecessarily hard. My father, my father turned to stimulants. He spent much of his time in local bars and bars. But we are warriors. It runs through our blood. And when he was on stims, he, he, he became foolish. He died. So we found out that Juhani's dad died in a basically a bar fight, which is sad. Yeah. Let's go talk to Mission about her brother here. Hey there. What can I do for you? I appreciate everything you've done for Griff. You know that, right? I just hope things work out for him this time around. I guess we'll find out when he meets up with us at the Zerka Corp shop. If he's got those credits he promised you, then maybe there's hope for him yet.
can I help? Then I suggest we move on. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. This is where we're going to call it. I don't want to start a new planet midway through the stream and just, you know, only get an hour into it. So the next time I get on KOTOR here, we'll, we'll be headed towards Manan. And we will see where that takes us. But we have finished Tatooine, which means now we've finished Terrace, Dantooine, and Tatooine. And Kashyyyk. So we've gotten four planets done. We're doing very well. So next time it's off to Manan. Until then, I will talk to you all later. Good night, everybody.